Forest officials of Dongmukak Forest Range seized illegal timber on Sunday. Road consequently destroyed due to the presence of cement warehouse at Katkati. Truck loaded with bamboo flipped at Moiso Killing on Friday. Good morning, viewers, and welcome to Karbiang Long Life, Voice of Karbiang Long. You're watching English Prime Time. As the district is set to celebrate the 30th edition of Zonal Karbi Youth Festival, Karbiang Long Life extend our best wishes to all the citizens, zonal committees, and subcommittees of 30th Zonal Karbi Youth Festival for the finest, peaceful, and successful celebration. Now the news in details. On 1st of October, Forest Department of Karbianglong Autonomous Council seized a mobile truck loaded with illegal timber under Dongmukak Forest Range. Rajan Rongpi, ACF of Dongmukak, had been actively engaged in monitoring illegal movement and activities within their range. Likewise, under his abled leadership, on 1st of October, acting upon the specific intel input from its sources, Forest officials led by Samson Inkti, forester, with his staff members while patrolling at Adai Hanse village, six kilometers away from Denarong Market, intercepted a mobile truck carrying illegal timbers. It was reported that no any concerns and permit was taken from the forest department. The truck took off its journey from Jungtong and was destined to deliver the timbers at Dokmoka. Samson Inti, Forester, while speaking to us, informed that the drivers and co-passengers of the trucks fled away on seeing us. The truck bearing registration number AS24C5401 and timbers would be seized following legal proceedings. As many as 40 KB of timbers were seized and the estimated value is rupees 30,000 if sold in an open market. The owner of the truck and the person behind these illegal activities are yet to find out. Sarpangri's uh, Inti's report from Langhin, Dirchuna Rongpi's report from Puloni, Karbiang Long Life. As the nation celebrates Durga Puja across the country, the headquarter of Karbiang Long District, Dipu, is also set to celebrate the festive week of Durga Puja from 1st October to 5th October. Durga Puja is celebrated globally, especially in Indian subcontinent, to symbolize the victory of Goddess Durga over Mahishasur, good over evil. Though it is only a part of Harvest Festival, celebrating the Goddess as the motherly power behind all of life and creation. Durga Puja is also known as Durgotsava or Sharodatsava. To offer prayers and pay homage to Goddess Durga, citizens of Difu could be seen rushing at the market to preparing themselves for the praying ceremony. The crowded streets speaks the level of festive mood of every devotees. Newsdex Report, Karbiang Long Life. Villagers of Bongrum village and its adjoining villages are struggling to access into a proper road for transportation as a road connecting Bongrum village to NH39 Katkati under Katkati police station was destroyed due to transportation of cement through it. Around 100 meters away from NH39, Black Tiger Cement Warehouse owned by Ashok Sarma had been actively working day and night. Tons of cement are imported and exported daily from this warehouse. It had consequently impacted the destruction of road. Here is the visual.
Hence the villagers are placed in a very challenging task as the only road which they rely upon is destroyed. This had affected the school-going children, college students, micro-businessmen to the ailing patients. It was reported that the cements are destined to consign to Manipur, but it is deported after storing two days at the warehouse. It is wondering as to why it is made necessary to store at Karbi Angla for one to two days, when it can be shipped directly to Manipur. It was reported that the reason behind this process haven't disclosed to anyone yet by the owner, Ashok Sarma. Anand Terang's report from Bokajan, Karbiang Long Life. On 30th of September, a truck fully loaded with bamboo overturned on the roadside near Moisto Killing Village under Bokajan Police Station. According to reports, a truck bearing registration number AP21DX8306 fully loaded with bamboo started its journey from Dilai and was proceeding towards Bokajan where the bamboos would later consign to Bihar from Bokajan. But due to overloading of bamboos, the truck lost its control and overturned at the roadside near Moisu Killing village. No loss of life had been reported so far. Delhi police reached the spot after being informed and took all the necessary steps to evacuate the place for public convenience. It is notable that among all the regions of East Karbiangalong district, Delhi and GDP region top the list with most bamboos. Nearly hundreds of trucks are supplied to far and near places across the state. Anand Terang's report from Bokajan, Karbiang Long Life. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining Karbiang Long Life. Have a good day.